Number two is a little bit easier. Um, you should actually do a little bit more than what I'm saying here, but this is a cooked up problem that I know works. And so I'm going to do the minimal possible here. Um, the first step is to write down this R of T and set it equal to the point. So I get this R of T, which is given to me by the red, which will be different for you. And then you set it equal to this point, 403 minus 724 and 596. Then you simplify, I call it simplifying, but it's actually combining these two terms together. So I take the T and I multiply it to the 48 and I bring it in as the first component. I take the negative 76, multiply it to the T and bring it in as into the second component and the third. So I do exactly the same thing. And then I set it equal to that point. Now really what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to set up all of these equal to each other and you should get the same T. If you don't get the same T, that point is not on the line, but um, they told me the point is on the line. It's a web assigned problem. So if you wanted to actually find out if the point is not on the line, you solve for T in all three of these. But since they told me it was on the line, I need to only do one. So I'm highlighting the first component. I take that out and I set that up as an equation and I solve for T. And I did it on Mathematica. Um, you can actually see that I did it on Mathematica. I have a Mathematica sheet here and you can see, see like, Scroll this down. I did a lot of work on here today. And you can see that I, I just told it to solve that equation because I was lazy and I didn't want to do any even linear stuff. And it's 41 over 4, which turns out to be 10.25. And so 10.25 um, rounds up to 10.3, and that's the answer you see up here. All right, I'm going to do this one quickly too. Um, they ask for the angle between the lines. This is kind of, um, I don't really, I'm not fond of this question because if you have two lines in three space, there's several angles, right? You have uh, all of all the way around should add up to 360, um, but you, you have an angle from one direction and an angle from other direction, fine. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do this. Um, so I first take out the direction vectors, V1 and V2. See, V1 is right here, and V2 is right here. The easiest way to do this, and if you're making uh, your T-sheets like we're doing in our class, I would write this down. If I wanted to find the vector uh, angle between two lines, um, I just take the V1 and the V2 and tell it to find vector angle, and that gives me that answer. However, the answer's in radians, and you're supposed to convert that to degrees. Um, so I needed to, I just copied and pasted this and multiplied by 180 divided by pi to convert that to degrees, which is 22.5908. And so if I go over here, I, that's that's 22.6. So it, it turned out that it uh, matched up pretty well. Um, so that's the easy way. I'm going to show you the other way because you should know this. Um, you're using what's called the angle between two vector formula from your book. Uh, and uh, the formula looks like cosine theta is V1 times dot V2 divided by the magnitude of V1 dot uh, times magnitude of V2, not dot. So V1 dot V2, this is something you need to know. It is a uh, called a dot product, and the dot product of two vectors is a number, and so you take 19 times 11, 8 times 10, and 12 times 16, and then you get 481. And then um, this is what we call the Euclidean magnitude. So it's the square of all these. It's like a, a size of a vector. 19 squared plus 8 squared plus 12 squared is the square root, and, and then square root that. That's the magnitude of V1. And the magnitude of V2 is the same formula, but with the, the components of V2. And so you get these two numbers. You pop them into the formula. So V1.V2 was 481. Uh, magnitude of V1 times magnitude of V2 is this awful numbers here. And then to find theta, you take the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of that monster right here. Um, boy, it's a lot easier to do vector angle, isn't it? But um, just to show you, uh, Mathematica can do these numbers as well. So it will do dot products between two vectors and norms if you want to do pieces of this. Um, but I, I'm just a fan of you know, no, you do have to know what this is because we have concept questions that we can ask you. 
Um, so you do have to know this formula and this should be on your tea sheets that you go into the tea with. But you also can just, once you know what it is, you, you can just use vector angle. And then this is the syntax for vector angle.